In the book of Isaiah chapter 50 verse 7, Isaiah chapter 50 verse 7, the Bible says, For the Lord God will help me, therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be ashamed. For the Lord God will help me, therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be ashamed. May you not be ashamed in life in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, every power delaying the manifestation of my marriage, die in the name of Jesus. Every power delaying the manifestation of my marriage, die in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Today's topic is unable to see your groom in the dream. Unable to see your groom in the dream. Can I subscribe to my channel? Can you subscribe today? A bridegroom is a man who is about to be married. No marriage can successfully take place without the presence of the groom or bride. Did you notice that your groom is missing on your wedding day? If this is what you experience or what you are experiencing in life, then the dream could mean two things. It could mean God's work or satanic attack. On the positive side, this could be a sign from God telling you that he is not the right man for you. This could be a sign from God telling you to slow down. This could be a sign from God telling you to pause. At this point you are in that relationship or in that affair with that man, you need to cut off the affair with him now, especially if your spirit confirms these signs that the man you are presently with is not a divinely ordained husband for you. If you neglect this divine warning because of your selfish interest or motive, because of what you might benefit from that relationship with that man, whatever that happens to you when you marry him, then it's a cross you must carry. It's very possible that the man will cheat on you when you get married to him. It's very possible that his mind is totally off you completely and his mind is on another woman. And that could be one of the reasons you're unable to see him in that marriage. Please, I want you to take note of this as a result of this dream. Every disappointment is a blessing and everything works together for your good, especially if God has ordained that man for you. If God says, this is your man, this is your husband to be, then take it as a sign that every disappointment you are seeing in that marriage is a stepping stone to your progress. Do not give up. That something is totally against your wish does not mean that things from the devil. God may be saving you from big trouble in your marital journey. The second part of this dream, however, is that perhaps you are already in your marriage. Both of you are with your parents for the traditional marriage. Your inability to see your groom in that marriage ceremony through that dream indicates some spiritual attacks against your marital settlement. This is a symbol of marital disappointment, failure, and shame to come, God forbid. The devil, however, does not want you to marry. The devil, however, does not want you to marry that particular person because he knows that once you marry that person, everything about your life will improve. Your life will improve. You will walk into prosperity. Everything will work out well for you. In fact, even your family, your parents will also share or be part of that blessing. They want to make sure that it did not work out. I pray for you today. Every power that is working against your marital settlement with that man, I command that power to die in Jesus' name. If you are currently in a relationship, preparing to be married, and you are coming across this type of dream where you cannot see your groom, you discover your groom rejected you, slapped you, and ran away in that dream, then it suggests that all your efforts towards your marriage will not yield any success. God forbid. You can't see your groom in that dream because there's a spirit of delay and bad luck in your life. You can't see your groom in that dream because there's a curse upon your life. You can't see a groom in that dream because there's a spirit of hatred and rejection in your life. You keep experiencing disappointment and failure at the edge of every good thing in your life. You are wondering why good men keep breaking up with you. So you are not happy because of this. You are wondering why at this time you look at your age and you are worried that you are overmatured for marriage. This type of dream is also a pointer of shame and disgrace awaits you in that relationship or marriage. God forbid. If it's a cause in your family that there's a high rate of marital delay, you need to break it. Also, this kind of dream can also tell you that the man in question is not a serious type and it appears that he's hiding something from you. That is why you are seeing him running away or you can't see him in that uh, wedding day. 
But what I want to let you know is that your husband will always be your husband, even if he disappears for a very long time and come back. If it appears that after your prayers, this type of dream state persists, I will encourage you to go for deliverance. Because if you cannot see your husband to be your groom in that wedding day, then it means that uh, the enemy does not want you to get married. Or it can also mean that you have spirit husband or you have that marine spirit you need to bind and lose out of your life. Instruction, embark on 3 days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. 6 p.m. Embark on 3 days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. 6 p.m. Pray against marital disappointment and delay. Pray against marital disappointment and delay. Read the following Bible verses. Psalm 31 verse 17, Isaiah chapter 54 verse 4, Romans chapter 10 verse 11, and lastly, Isaiah chapter 61 verse 7. Close your eyes. Say this prayer point loud and clear. Say, powers that vow that my foundation will not favor me maritally, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that vows that my foundation will not favor me maritally, die in the name of Jesus. 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 Powers that vows that my foundation will not favor me maritally, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that vows that my foundation will not favor me maritally, die in Jesus' name. Say, so, oh Lord, stop every power ranging against my marital settlement in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, stop every power ranging against my marital settlement in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, stop every power ranging against my marital settlement in Jesus' name. Say, my marital glory stolen in the dream, I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. My marital glory stolen in the dream, I recover you by fire. I recover you by fire. I recover you by fire in Jesus' name. Say, dreams of delay and disappointment be nullified by fire in the name of Jesus. Dreams of delay and disappointment be nullified by fire. Be nullified by fire in Jesus' name. Say, Father, connect me to the right man who is ready to marry me. In the name of Jesus, Father, connect it to the right man who is ready to marry me. Declare it loud and clear. Father, connect it to the right man who is ready to marry me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray for you. Every disappointment at the edge of your breakthrough shall be cancelled. Every cause of marital embargo is destroyed. Every manipulation of money spirits in your life is destroyed. Receive your deliverance. Be set free from that marital troubles. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.